Hello everyone, it's Chloe here. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm looking crazy as shit. <laughs> so basically, I just had a shower so my hair is like all poofy. So try and ignore that. And also I started this tutorial off with my brows on and they're not they're not going good today. So bear with me. Hopefully the eyeshadow looks better. But anyways, today's video about Tidy, you guys already know, I'm going to be doing a recreation of Kata Potato's makeup tutorial. I bloody love her. She's one talented human being. And she posted this photo. And I'm like, okay, I need to recreate it. It's it's just so stunning. <laughs> There's no tutorial, it's just a photo. By the way, her skin looks perfection. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure she used the James Charles palette by Morphe. I don't have that palette, but I'm going to be using a Morphe palette that's very similar. So I'm going to try my best to recreate this look. And if it goes bad, it goes bad. But if it goes good, it goes good. So basically, I've already started with my eyebrows on. I already primed my lids. So I'm going to get right into this because I know this video is going to take a long time. But I did do a poll on my Instagram asking if I should do a recreation. And 96% of you said yes and 4% of you said no. So again, we're Majority rules, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this. Well, not a tutorial, just like trying to recreate. It's not really a tutorial, but I'm going to try my best. I'm going to be using the Morphe 35B Burst Palette. It's kind of similar in a way. It's like a... Okay, bitch. It's like that bright ass rainbow palette, which I'm pretty sure most of the colors that she used are in here. It's not going to be 100% the same because, again, I don't have the palette she uses. We'll try our best. If you want to see me ace this tutorial 110% or basically murder it, just keep on watching. I am so scared because this is so technical that you have to use multiple brushes and I don't really have that much brushes because they're all dirty. Hello, nice to meet you. So pretty much near the brow bone she does orange, then pink, then purple, then blue on the inner corner and outer corner, then green, then yellow. <laughs> Okay, Kato. I'm going to start with orange and put it right near my brow bone. Her brows are looking snatched in this photo. Mine look like shit, so whatever. So I'm just going to grab a crease brush. Looks like this. Looks like shit, to be honest. I did order new brushes from Morphe. They haven't come in yet, so I'm really depressed, but it's fine. I think for the crease crease not really a crease but the orange shade she uses i think i might use this one i think or maybe this one this one's less orange i'll use this one if i need a more orange i'll use the other orange i just mentioned i'm gonna grab that on my brush and bloody hope for the best okay so i'm gonna grab my handy dandy mirror you guys know it's not a tutorial without this mirror it's filthy oh my god okay so i'm just gonna put that <laughs> oh my god Right near the brow bone, this is literally so scary. I'm not even kidding, this is terrifying. Because, like, the only real colourful makeup I've done, rainbow-wise, technically this is kind of rainbow, is the Pride look I did for Pride Month, obviously. And, like, that was hard. <laughs> but this is just insane. So, Kato, can we just have a little chat? And can you stop being so good at what you do, please? Thank you very much. This is just, this is scary as shit. Okay, so what I might do is I might do one eye on camera and the other one eye off camera just because I think it's going to save a bit more time and hopefully they look the same. That kind of looks like the same colour as she does. This looks like it's not blending. Oh, killy dokily. Okay, so I don't know if she used purple or purple and pink because it looks like pink then faded into purple. So I think I might just add a bit of purple and then fade it with a pink, like blend it out with a pink. So let's do that. Okay, so now I'm going to grab a purple and basically shit myself because this is the scary part. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just hoping for the absolute best here. This is gonna look like shit. I just feel it in my bones because usually with me, if my eyebrows turn out shit, my entire face turns to shit. So I'm kinda, I'm kinda a bit nervous, you know, just a bit. That looks terrible. Oh my God, how does she do this? So now I'm gonna get a blending brush and add a bit of pink to the end of it. Basically blend that purple into the orange, making it a bit more pink because I'm using pink to blend it out. Hopefully this works. Come on. Please, blending gods, do me a favor and let this blend seamlessly. Thank you very much. That still looks crazy, but it's, it's getting somewhere, I think. If I don't talk a lot during this, it's because I'm literally trying to focus so hard on a picture. Like, it's easier when it's a video, but if it's a picture, oh my lord, it's so much harder. Especially with details like this that she's done. Girly, stop. <laughs> It's coming together, kind of. It's still a little bit harsh, but again, I'm just going to blend for the life of me. Maybe I'll go back in with a little bit of orange, because again, I am blending like a shit ton, so it is taking away some of the color. So this part of the video is just me going back in with the colors, trying to blend it all, and then fix it up. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's just technical. <sighs> I'm 
strange guessing. Pink and purple are a perfect combo. If you want to try some colors, use pink and purple. It's bloody perfect. And maybe some orange, because that orange actually looks really nice. I might go... Oh, that is so bad, that corner. Ew. <laughs> I might go back and fix it, but let's see what she does. I don't know. I keep saying let's see what she does next, but I'm not following a video. I'm, my phone's over here. That's why I'm leaning in. Okay, so now she adds blue, but I feel like I need to add concealer to make it more vibrant. And it's basically blue is here and here. And then she does green, then yellow right in the center. So I think I might carve my crease all the way, like a full crease, and then... We'll figure out what to do from there. So again, like I said in the beginning, this isn't really a tutorial. I'm just trying my best to recreate this. It's more a recreation. But again, I'm using a concealer. All the products I'm going to be using is down below anyway. So I'm just going to put concealer on my lid and basically put it where I want it. Okay, so that's that. Oh, shit. So that's that. I'm going to fix the purple up later. Again, I'm going to go back with all the colors a bit later and stress my entire life away. So with the blue, I don't know what brush to use. That's freaking fantastic. So I don't really have a similar color. Uh, I don't really know. She blends it so well. How does she do that? I'm going to be using this blue up here. This one's a shimmer, so I'm not going to be using that because it's a matte. I'm going to be using this matte blue right here for the inner and the outer. This concealer is shit. So I'll do the outer first. I feel like that's going to be a bit easier because I've got to leave room for the green and yellow which is literally the most stressful thing i think i've ever done i don't think i've ever done a look like this i don't think i have honestly this is too technical for me i'm gonna go back into the purples now and the pinks and like hope that this blends because boy i've got blue in me crease i've got bloody i don't even know what's happening so i'm just gonna try my best yeah, what is happening? This eye is watering. Why is this eye watering? Oh my god. Oh my god, it's literally watering. The other one's not. It's just this other that I haven't done. Thank god for that, honestly. This is so frustrating. Because I'm pretty sure she has a bigger lid space than I do. Because I have very, very hooded eyes, as you guys know. So, like, she has this eye is so watery. <laughs> so, she has a lot of room and I don't. So, fun. We love that. Love, love, love that. This is what it's looking like so far. It looks mental. But you know what? I think I think it's okay. Again, it's, it, it's going to look so weird because we don't have the same eye shape. We don't have the same palettes. You know, I'm just recreating it in my way. <laughs> so now I'm going to add the green because she has do to what? <laughs> she has two lines of green then yellow in the center. So we're going to try and do that. Let's do the green. I don't know what green to use. Okay, so I might use this green here and hope for the best. So let's add it right next to the blue. This green's really dark. I'm not a massive fan. Oh my god, I didn't really leave any room for the yellow. Holy shit. Okay, I'm going to quickly add the yellow, like one little line of yellow, and then fix it all up. Like as long as I have the colors on my eyeball, I'm fine, because then I can just blend my life away with them. Wow, okay, this is really bad. Great, this is fun. So now I'm going to try and blend. I don't have brushes this small. Now I'm going to go back in with the purple, because it's all in the crease. Like, from the crease up, it looks fantastic, I reckon, personally. But everything else has gone to shit. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Okay, I think it might look a bit better once, like, my lashes and eyeliner is on. This blue is fine. It's just this green and this yellow, man. This is what's getting me. <sighs> Holy shit. I might be an extra piece of shit and do a liner glitter. I know it's not what she did, but I think it just might clean this crease up for me. So I think I might do that really quickly. So for that, I'm going to be using these still, uh, what are these called? Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows. This one, Kitten Karma. And I'm just going to do a line above the blue, green, and yellow. So I'm just going to put that on a detail brush. Do, 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 do. I'm just going to put that basically where my crease is, just to be a little bit more extra. Because who doesn't love being extra? It is very scary to do, but I think I've just stuffed it up. Okay, so I think this color is a bit effed up. So I'm just going to fix it up a bit with the liquid lipstick by Jeffree Star in Clout. If you watch my tutorial, not to, oh, yeah, kind of tutorial. If you watch my review, I don't like this color on myself, but I haven't used it on my eyes yet. So I want to see what it looks like. This is like a purpley shade. So it's kind of like blend in, but it's going to be like cute, you know? Hopefully anyway. Do you get where I was going? I think it's kind of good. I'm just going to make it a bit more darker. Does that look good? Probably not because I'm just, this is not part of the look. It's fine. You know, I'm just 
I'm out here living my best life. It's fine. So I'm going to fix this blue up because this blue is actually kind of terrible on the outer corner. And hopefully the thin eyeliner we do is going to fix that. But it's not too bad. I thought it would be worse. Okay, so going back to the reference photo, she does do a thin eyeliner line. There's no wing or anything. So I don't know if you can tell, but there is a slight black eyeliner line. So I'm just going to do a slight black eyeliner line. <laughs> it's probably not going to turn out like that. It's probably going to turn out like really thick as shit. So I'm just going to get my black liquid liner, which is a liquid lipstick by Jeffree Star, and do a thin line of eyeliner. It's kind of a bit effed up because this part's thicker, but I might fix it up with a bit of yellow. <laughs> Honestly, I've done worse. I have done worse. It looks nothing like hers, but I think it's okay in a way. Hello. But basically, I'm going to do the other eye off camera and then we'll move on to the face and do the lower lash line, lashes, all that stuff. So hopefully this eye looks kind of more decent, but it, looking at the photo on this, it looks like Chanel versus Walmart. But honestly, <laughs> I think I did okay. I think with lashes and more a face makeup on, I think it will look okay. So let me do this eye off camera and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so I'm back. I have done the other eye off camera. It's... It's okay. I feel like once I put lashes on, it's kind of going to be a bit more better. So what I'm going to do now is do my face. And then when my face is done, I'm going to go back to my eyes and do the lashes and the lower lash line. So what I'm going to do now is clean up all this shit under my eye rolls. And I have like eyeliner there. It's just a shit show. So I'm just going to remove all of the negative shit out of my life. I'm new for 2019. By the way, happy new year, everybody. I'm actually going to prime today. I never really prime, but because I showered, my skin's kind of dry. So do I even have primer in here? I don't think so. So for primer, I'm going to go back in with the Smashbox foot. I thought you were on silent, thank you. Anywho, I'm going to go back in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This is the oil-free one. It kind of still got Doves? What? <laughs> it kind of still gives me a bit of oil, but I think it's all right. I do have the other one that isn't the silicone one, which I've used a couple times, but this one is the silicone one. Um, a lot of people don't like silicone primers. I'm kind of on the fence about them, honestly. I'm using a brush because I feel like it's easier. Um, I'm kind of on the fence about silicone primers. It just makes my skin feel weird and not primed. I really just moisturize for my primer. I don't actually use primers. I don't really believe in them. So I just kind of just do my own thing and just prime with moisturizer and like setting sprays and stuff. Um, anyway, so now that's blended in, we're going to do some foundation. Yeah. Okay, so for foundation, this one's almost empty. So I'm just going to use this one and finish it. This is the Maybelline, what is it called? Superstay 24 hour full coverage. You guys know I love my Maybelline stuff. Oh my god, Maybelline is so good and it's like so affordable. We love a drugstore queen. Ah. This and the Fit Me foundation by them is literally iconic. I love them. So I'm just going to use a foundation brush to put this on my face. Oh my, this is why I do my foundation first because I hate getting foundation and stuff in my eyes and my eyebrows. I don't know how people do it. I really just don't. How? Please explain. And then I'm going to go and grab my beauty blender, which is filthy by the way, just letting you know. So I am going gonna spray that with a bit of setting spray this is the best setting spray ever this is the morphe continuous setting mist i got this recently i did haul this and my god guys this hands down best setting spray i used to use the urban decay one but i have converted to that that's a holy grail so if you need a new setting spray check out morphe please because oh my god it smells so nice i mentioned this in a live stream once so i don't like makeup that smells like shit because it's going near my nose like i'm putting makeup on my face and if it smells like shit what's the point i don't want to put that on my face even if even if it's a good product i don't want to put that on my face because it stinks you know this strap needs to stop it <laughs> anyways just a little bit of a rant <laughs> so we're gonna blend this out so how's everyone going has everyone's new year oh i did want to update you kind of in a way basically i talked about this on instagram a couple <sighs> I don't know how long, but a while ago, I had to get a new bank card because there is a giant bug on my window. <laughs> Anyways, back to my story that I've been trying to tell you. I logged into my bank account and I realized that someone has taken out a hundred and something dollars out of my account and I have no idea who the hell it is. Like I didn't buy anything and it said Facebook on it, which I was really confused about because I don't even use Facebook that often. But yeah, someone from Facebook took out $143 or something from my account. So I rang my bank, they canceled my card, I had to get a new card and they're launching an investigation to see who the hell it is. I haven't heard back from them, so I have no idea if they figured anything out or not. 
not. But I just wanted to let you guys know that I did get a new card. Everything's okay. Didn't get a refund because <laughs> I haven't done the investigation yet or they're doing it but they haven't let me know. But I'll update you on like Instagram or something. But I just thought I'd let you know to be careful when you buy stuff on Instagram. Instagram? No. <laughs> buy stuff online because this shit happens a lot. So um, I just wanted to give you like a little fair warning, you know. This brow looks like shit now because there's foundation in it. Now that's all kind of blended. I'm now going to go in with concealer. And guys, I bought the Tarte Shape Tape from Sephora because our Sephora's in Australia finally got them in stock and on in line, in line, online. <laughs> so I bought this off Sephora.com. This is in fair beige. This is the second lightest because the lighter shade was out of stock. And this is a perfect shade for me. Like it's light enough to highlight, but it's so full coverage. And I'm a full coverage queen. And this smells beautiful, by the way. And also, it's just so creamy. I know it's the holy grail of everyone. And I'm very late on getting it. But again, because I'm in Australia, obviously it's a bit delayed. But this is so good. Like... Oh, it's so good. Like, look at me. I look great. <laughs> okay, I have something else to tell you why I blend this. So I'm just going to blend this out. Basically, um, while I'm filming this, today I'm going to be staying up till 3 a.m. <laughs> to be buying the James Charles Morphe palette. Now, it has been sold out literally every time I go online. So I'm going to stay up till 3 to get this palette. So look forward to some tutorials with that bad boy because I do want to do a first impression. Like I did with the Jeffree palette and all that. So I do want to do a first impression for you guys so if you want to see that let me know look out for some tutorials on that bad boy because it's beautiful like it's a beautiful palette so i just thought i'd let you guys know that you'll be seeing i don't know what my hand's doing you'll be seeing a lot more colorful looks but also some natural looks i know a lot of my subscribers don't like color on them anyway they don't really know how to work with color or anything so i will be doing a couple looks natural but like i said multiple times on this channel i'm more of a color girl when it comes to eyeshadow as you can clearly tell <laughs> i'm more of a color girl but again i will do some natural because if you're beginning or anything like that i want to help you guys out just thought i'd add that part in and let you guys know so i'm now going to bake with my cody air spun i bought more of this from amazon and oh my god i'm so excited for it to come in because this i've realized is not transparent it's naturally neutral but the one i bought is transparent so this isn't actually transparent it has a tinge of color to it so i'm really excited to actually see what the transparent one looks like so i'm just gonna bake my concealer and because it is full coverage i'm gonna have to bake a lot of that you know and we'll do the other eye ba, 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 ba. But then I'm just going to bake with a powder puff where I put the concealer and then I'm going to use a bit more powder and just powder with a fluffy brush all around my face. Now I'm going to get some more powder and a big fluffy brush and basically set the rest of my face because I did put a lot of powder. Wow, I did, I did put a lot of product on my face today so we're just gonna set all of that in place to make us not look cakey i will spray a lot of setting spray later on okay so i think now because it's setting in i might go back to the eyes and finish them off okay so basically what she's done is done the orange like fairly down because that's her kind of thing she brings her color very down and then pink and purple in the lower lash line so i think i might just do pink and purple and then if i want to add some more add that orangey color so i'm gonna go back in with that palette I'm going to grab a bit of the purple and put that on my lower lash line. I hate doing this. Whoa. Like, that just makes the look. A lot of people don't do the lower lash line. If you haven't, please do. It just makes the look so much more, like, insane to me. It's just a personal preference, but I bloody love doing color on the lower lash line or just anything. And if you do a natural look and then, like, a pop of color on the lower lash line, that will make you play around with a bit more color. That's a subtle way of starting off to play with some color, you yeah, know? Okay, so I'm going to get a smaller brush and a bit of that pink shade. I'm sorry I'm leaning over my palette here. And go right against the lash line, whereas with the purple i kind of blended it downwards but i'm gonna add the pink right on my lower lash line all right i think i'm gonna leave it like that because i feel like the orange might look a bit weird for me personally so i'm just gonna leave that out i'm just gonna fix this corner up so now let's finish off the eyes with some lashes and some mascara and then we'll move back onto the face okay so in the photo her lashes are really really natural it doesn't even look like she's wearing falsies but i think she is so i'm gonna grab these ones these are again by my ebay little haul i did ages ago and they're really natural but they're crisscross so they give you that more like spidery look so i haven't worn these in a hot minute so it's going to take me a while to actually get them on so that's going to be fun <laughs> but before i put my lashes 
on, I am going to curl my lashes and put mascara on. So I'm just going to curl my lashes. And again, for mascara, I'm going to be using the Tarte Light Camera Splashes Waterproof Mascara. I bought this when I bought Shape Tape because I heard really good things about it. And I'm a massive fan of it so far. So I'm going to put some of that on. And I'm also going to put this on the lower lash line as well. Mascara is on. This look is coming together. I'm kind of loving it in a way because it's not, it's not even the same as Kato's, but like I'm kind of loving it. So, mm. Okay, so I might skip this part because again, I haven't used these lashes in a while. But they've gone straight. <laughs> so I have to curl them and stuff. So I'm going to do this off camera and when my lashes are on, I'll come back to you and we'll finish off the face. I just sneezed and I just put mascara on to blend my lashes together. And now my eyes are watering like shit. So if you see any ruining of the eyelashes and eyeshadow, I'm sorry, okay? But the lashes are on. They're very, 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 very simple. They're kind of like eyelash extensions. They're just giving me length more than volume. But I kind of like that because the eyeshadow is so intense. We're going to move back to the face now. Okay, so again, I'm going to use all my same products, but all the products will be down below anyway. I'm going to contour the designer brand's contour kit. If I can find my brush. Got it. And I'm like hit pan like a shit ton on this. So I'm just going to contour my cheeks. Going to make a snatched face, you know. And a little bit on my forehead. I know I don't need it. But I just do like some color on my forehead to blend in the rest of my face. And a little bit on my jawline. Which I don't really have. <laughs> so next we're going to bronze with my normal shit. Fashion Beauty, nothing new. And I'm going to contour a little bit heavier because the eyes are so intense. I kind of do want the face to be just as intense. But not too intense, you know. So I'm going to bronze. A little bit on my forehead as well. Again, just adding some color. Not really defining anything. So I'm just like lightly putting my brush on my forehead. Not too much. And same with the jaw. I'm not going to make that harsh. I'm just going to focus here for the harshness. And the rest of my face will get some color. Okay, I think that's harsh enough. Okay, so now we're going on to highlighter. I'll be using the Ice Cold Skin Frost by J Star. It's a white highlighter. I think it will look sick with this look if I can open it. But before I do that, I'm going to spritz my face a lot with the Morphe Setting Spray. Just to obviously blend in all that powder and to make the highlighter pop a bit more when I put it on. <sighs> so good. So I'm going to grab the highlighter on a brush and mm -hmm, we're going to highlight to the gods because this is such an intense look that I think that it needs it. So we'll do the other side. <laughs> Holy shit balls. The best little tip and trick for you guys is one side of my highlighter brush is for the highlighter and the other side is completely clean so I can blend it out without adding any more product just so it's not as intense but it's pretty intense you know but I love my highlighter you guys know that. So I'm going to add some highlighter to my cupid's bow. Oh that's a lot and also to my nose because I love a good nose highlighter. We're like Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer but in January. So to turn it down a little bit if you don't like it too much get a powder brush with no powder on it and if you use powder earlier it will have a little bit left on it and basically just blend everything together. Now the last step on my face is my blush. Now I love this step. I'm getting so much better at blush I reckon. Anyways that's my opinion. <laughs> so basically I just use a bronzing luminator whatever blush. I just said brush. <laughs> but this blush is shimmery and it's like gold metallic inside it so it's going to blend my contour my bronzer and my highlight all together so I love this to make my skin a little bit more glowy. Not that it needs it but you know. So I'm just going to blend that with the highlighter and the contour and bronzer. Oh, that looks so good. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the lip and then we are done. Okay, so she is wearing a nude in the photo. So I'm going to be grabbing Christmas Cookie by Jeffree Star. Again, it's my go-to nude, so I love this thing. Basically, the look is completely done, but I do want to add an extra step. I don't really like gloss, but I do want to add gloss just to see if it will look cool. Now, Kato is kind of like me. She hates gloss, but I'm going to add some gloss because I recently got this. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Glazy Days. I got this in the advent calendar because it was on sale at Priceline. If you want it, check it out. It's half price. So I do want to add this to the top of my liquid lipstick. That looks good. I like that. Okay, so before we finish, the last spritz of setting spray. And we are done. So everybody, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was kind of like a trial run. I don't know if I did good. I kind of do like the look. I just think I could improve it a bit more. But again, I was referencing a photo, not a video. It's much easier if you reference a video. It's much more harder if you reference a photo. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a big thumbs up. Please go subscribe to Kato. And her Instagram and everything will be down below. I love her. She's so funny. She's been through some shit. But she keeps 
living her life. I don't know what I was going to say there, but <laughs> anywho, if you want me to recreate any other looks, please leave them down below. You know, leave a comment of someone's Instagram or whatever, and I'll pick a look or something like that. I think that'll be really fun. All my social media links and all the products I used in today's video and on my face will be down below like always. If you're new here, please subscribe to my two videos a week for you guys every Monday and Thursday. Remember to spread love and stay positive, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Oh,